Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of the Mariner's Compass. Um, part one was just uh, creating a spinner that had eight equal parts. It's a four inch radius circle and we're gonna get moving quickly here, okay? So the first thing, this is the idea of what we're going for, okay? You should have seen it on the wall, that's why you picked it. And what it is is two stars, each with four points and they are overlapping one is overlapping the other so what we need to do first is we need to create a circle in the center that is one inch has a radius of one inch so that would be there's my one inch radius so I'm gonna come to the arrow and it always goes back a little bit for some reason I'm right there I'm going to put my pencil down it can be helpful to lift your hand up a little bit away from the paper so you have more room to go around the circle. And there we go. This is similar to the five-pointed star, if you looked at that at all. What I'm doing is I'm going to, let's let this be one of the points that I'm going to. I'm going to go back and forth down from this star, this circle up to the outer circle, down and back up. I'm going to go all the way around the circle doing that. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So really important to line up and you're going to get better and better at this. Getting your lines to intersect those lines in a good way. Okay, I've already got one point on my star. I'm going to turn it and this time I'm going from this spot up to here. Okay, once again, I'm going to be moving quickly. Please pause it, okay? Don't rush yourself. I'm only rushing so that you're not watching a 15-minute video here, but you can definitely pause it, stretch it out. I'm going to have two down, and I'm going to the next one. I could either keep, I could spin that paper, or I can just hold it right there. Okay, it's not going to be perfect, but you have to do it to make it look good. Make it look good. So if you need to redo a line, redo a line. Okay, I've got that. So I've got the front star here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the back star doing the same idea. Okay, but this time I'm not going to draw the lines all the way through. That's all it takes to overlap is to not connect these all the way through. Just come right up to here. Okay, I'm lining up to that point and that point, but I'm just coming right up to there. Doing the same thing here, going from there up to the very end of the star but I'm not drawing it through the star. If you happen to draw it through, you can erase it. That's why we use pencil. And let me make sure you're seeing most of what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm going from here up to here. Okay, coming back over here. Once again, if you uh, draw it all the way through, you forget. That's why we use pencil. You can just erase it. Okay. From here to here. A lot of this design is just experimenting. This is how I started doing this in the first place, with just experimenting with circles. And uh, you can do a lot with it. So please feel free to experiment. Change your measurements a little bit here and there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting there. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead, I'm gonna erase this inside circle 
all the way out of the way. I like to leave these lines down the middle, you don't need to. And I'm also gonna be erasing this outside circle, you don't need to either, if you wanted to keep that outside circle. But let me remind you that finished product is gonna look something like that before you color it at all. And I think that looks pretty cool. Now, the one on the wall will probably have some north, south, east and west symbols on it just to make it look fancier um, but that's the idea here so good luck we'll see you soon